Hey, welcome back to Fox 59 Morning News. The best robotics teams in the world are set to compete in Dallas in a couple weeks, and an Indianapolis team will be there among them. The Pike High School VEX Robotics team qualified for world championships coming up in early May, and we're so excited for them. Rodney Britton and D'Amico Southern are here with the rest of the team this morning to talk about what it's been like, this experience. Uh, guys, I know you brought your robot here with you. This is going to be uh, the one competing in Dallas. Uh, I mean, what's it like to know, you know, you've made it this far to this point in a, in a couple weeks, you're going to be there at Worlds? Um, so it's a really good experience that we all have together because it's just like great knowing that you're one of the top teams that get to go. There's only 22 teams that get to go to Worlds in Indiana. I just we feel really lucky that we're one of those teams that get to go. We worked really hard for this and put in a lot of time and a lot of effort inside and outside of school. And I think that's just what makes us a very good team and what makes us do good at um, the world competition. I was going to say, I mean, how, how many days, weeks, hours have you put in to come up with this so far? It's, it's taken months, maybe since like summer of last year wow. in order to get this far. And there was a lot of improvements that we had to make over that time period. So, Because, I mean, look, I, I, I don't know the first thing about, I mean, how do you even go about coming up with the concept for this, first of all, and then making it happen? So... Usually at the beginning of a season, we'll like look at the different game when they show it and we'll like plan out what we think is right and we'll use that. But then after we go to like a competition and we see other robots and stuff, we'll use what we have that's better and what they have and we'll like mm. figure out what's the best for us. And then we'll take all that and put it together in order to make the best possible thing, which right now is this. That's and just over time, it kind of builds up and just... <laughs> it, it, it happened. It takes shape, right? It's, it's incredible. Well, you brought it here and it's ready to go. Do you guys mind a quick demonstration of you can turn it what on. it's going to do? Yeah. Okay. Turn it on real quick. It, it does not have a name right now, I discovered, too. Uh, no, we were thinking of some names yeah. uh, to make it work best because we're the C team on uh -huh. our things. We were like thinking of things that started with a C. Yeah. Uh, like we go were for it. Yeah. It's that one. You can talk while it's going, too. Okay. So, so just tell us what it's doing here. So right now, the goal of the game is just to pick up those and actually score them on different platforms and stuff. So what we do is we pick them up at the back or the front, and then we can lift them up like really high in order to um, score them. There's multiple of those things around the field, so uh -huh. you have to try and pick up as many as you can and try and score them. And so we thought optimizing what we have in the space that we have, it'd be best to pick up multiple at a time. And that's why we have one for the front and one for the back. So cool. And something to do, a little bit of everything for the game. That's so cool. Well, guys, thanks so much for coming in. That's awesome. I mean, we could go on and on about this. So best of luck to you guys coming up on the uh, first weekend in May, right? Yep. In yes. Dallas. Hey, cheer on the Pike High School VEX Robotics Championship team. You guys are going to bring it home, I know it. But thanks so much, you guys, for coming, and really appreciate it, and best of luck at Worlds. Thank you. Thank thanks. you. Hey, we'll be right back. Stay with us.